What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG and today we're going to go over how to set up a prepaid subscription so you could sell a product on a yearly subscription but then you would ship it monthly. I recently got this question from a comment on a blog post I had. Um, I sell cleaning packages for home use and deliver them monthly. It'd be awesome if customers can pay for a yearly subscription but receive their orders plus pay for delivery monthly. I can't figure out how to set that up with prepaid payments. Okay, let's go over this. But first, all the links in this video can be found in the description box below. And if you get value out of this, give me a thumbs up, give me a like or subscribe. It really helps with YouTube's algorithm. And these videos sometimes can take too long to make. Sometimes I think, why am I even making them? Anyways, so if you get value out of it, do that and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this site and I am going to create a new product just called like um, cool cleaning package. Okay. And this is going to be a simple subscription like our friend said. And he wants to have it yearly, but they receive their orders and pay for delivery monthly. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this up as $120 every year. Okay, and I'm not gonna have it expire. And I'm gonna set, this is started as $120 every year. And I'm just gonna set the product image as this icon. And I'm just gonna go clean. So it's called the cool cleaning package. Right, so I have my, my subscription product created on for yearly, um, $120 every year, but how do I get this to ship monthly? That's the big thing we're trying to do. So with that, we are going to go to plugins and we're gonna be using the Automate Woo plugin that can be found in the description box, in the description box below. And I'm going to activate that plugin. It is a paid plugin, but I think you guys will get a lot of value to be able to do this prepaid subscription so with that i'm going to activate it and before i you know dive into how to use this something that i always do when i'm using automate woo on a new site is that i just remove these um, session tracking um, these settings right away that's just some housekeeping things and i just want to let you guys know that okay let's dive into how to best accomplish this so I'm gonna create a new workflow, okay? And the workflow is gonna be called start prepaid term, okay? And this is gonna going to be when the subscription is created, okay, for our cool cleaning package. So when this is created and the customer pays $120, which in reality would be $120 plus the, sh the shipping, for the first order, so $125. Okay, and I'm gonna take this action, and after the subscription is created, I wanna update the schedule. So someone paid me $120 to my store for this cleaning package. I'm gonna update the schedule to a month, okay, and the interval one. And I wanna recalculate the dates, okay, so I'm gonna keep that enabled. And then I'm also gonna add another action for update product, okay? And this is going to be our cool cleaning package. And I am going to update this to zero um, dollars, okay? So if this is confusing, we'll do a, some tests at the end of this tutorial to go over how to set everything up. But right now I have my workflow that after the subscription is created, after someone pays me $120 for the yearly subscription, we are going to add create a workflow to update the schedule from a month from now, a renewal order happens, two months from now, another renewal, renewal order happens to make sure that um, it can ship out and can create with our shipping integration and so forth. And we're also gonna charge shipping on those renewal orders. So we're gonna charge um, four dollars and ninety-five cents for shipping on those renewal orders. Okay, if you're confused, bear with me. We have a second workflow. Okay, and this is I'm just going to call this two. Um, 
renew prepaid um, subscription. So we want to renew this because we update the schedule to be one month. We need to renew this at a specific time. So we're going to do the trigger of subscription renewal payment complete. Okay, and we're going to do our cool cleaning package. And then we're going to add a rule. So the rule is subscription payment count is a multiple of 12. Okay, so this will happen after the first year. We're going to, we need to update it or after the second year, after 24 months have happened. So 12 months, a year has passed with 12 months because there'll be 12 payments, which really, and then there'll be, you know, 24, 36 and so forth. If you want to keep going on those years. So we're going to add an action to update the schedule. Okay. And we're going to update the schedule to a year. Okay, and we're gonna do the billing interval of one. Okay, and we're gonna leave recalculate dates unchecked because we're just gonna do this for the 13th payment. Okay, the first payment of the second year. And then we're also gonna update the product. And we're gonna do our cool cleaning package and we're gonna update the product back to $120. Okay. So we updated the schedule and now we're updating the product and it's only gonna run when there's already been 12 orders because we're gonna have 12 shipments, but only one um, order of those first 12 that were actually taking payment for the product besides shipping. Okay, so I'm just gonna save this and then I'm gonna create a third workflow That's just gonna be called resume prepaid term. Okay, so this is gonna be when the subscription renewal payment complete for the cool cleaning package. So subscription payment count is 13 or subscription payment count is 25. So this would be, you know, the first payment of the third year. And then we can go, you know, subscription payment count is 37 and so forth. So when this happens, we need to re-update the schedule again. So what we did in the wor first workflow, and we'll be testing this at the end of this video, so bear with me. So that we're gonna update the schedule billing period to month interval of one and we're also need to update that price back to zero okay so we're new cool cleaning package and we're gonna do zero dot zero okay update product update schedule we're gonna recalculate the dates this time because if this is the 13th payment, we want this to happen on the 14th, 15th, 16th, and so forth. So, okay, so now we are going to save this. And so we have our three workflows that all can be found by clicking this workflow button, right? And we have one, two, three. Okay, so now I think we're ready for a test and I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, so I'm going to just open up an incognito window and I am going to find this cool cleaning package for $120 a year and I'm going to go through the checkout process right and I'm just going to be like Jimmy Doe cool and then I'm just going to do just a random email address and you can see that $4.95 of the shipping. This is just a random test account. So I'm gonna sign up, okay? And I'm gonna sign up 
as a test user, and we're just going to test this out to make sure that you guys understand and all of us can understand how this is working so it all works great. So, so I created a test order and now I am going to go to my orders and I'm specifically going to look at this subscription. Okay. So as you can see, the big thing here, I would open up um, this subscription and you can see that the first cool cleaning package was $120, but this subscription is already updated to um, just the shipping costs for the second month payment, third month payment. So this will stay at $4.95 because that's what the shipping cost is. And that's what our friend wanted to um, do where they just pay for delivery monthly. Okay. So, and I also can see here, if I go to the logs, I can see that this ran, this, this workflow ran for this specific workflow because the subscription was created. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the subscription and what you can do here to test this out is I'm actually going to process this renewal manually to test this out and simulate being um, a customer that's going through the subscription process. So I'm going to process the renewal 12 times so I can see on that 13th one, did it work? Okay, so... And you can do this on a staging site or whatever you're using to, or your real site if you still have a test, testing set up where you can just go to subscription actions, process renewal. So I'm gonna do this quite a few times um, until we get to 12 total payments. Um, so. Okay, I think we're here and there's 12 payments count that have run. And now I just want to make sure if I go back, and I'm just going to also clear my cache just to make sure that the workflow can run because we are testing this manually rather than when the subscription is usually running every month to make sure Automate Woo understands this. So here we go, the moment of truth. Let's do process renewal and let's see what we get. And boom, it worked. So on the, we can see renew prepaid subscription. This will happen when the subscription payment count, if I expand this, is a multiple of 12, which it is with this last order. So now this updated to, uh, for the first payment of the second year to $124.95, which is awesome. This would be the 13th um, month. So a full, a full year later, or the 13th, I guess, technical order. And if I look here, I can see that this is still here. And if I look at the logs one more time, so I can see that these logs ran, if I just update this again. So this renew prepaid subscription ran a minute ago. And then right after that, the resume prepaid term, our third workflow, which is to update the subscription if the payment count is 13, which this one is, right? This is our 13th technical payment. And now if I just go back and I'm just gonna combine these tabs again, just to give you guys a better, a better visual. So let me just go back here. Okay, so if I like refresh this, the subscription should be back down to $4.95. So we got it, right? It's all good. And I could even test this again, and hopefully everything's going well, where if I process the renewal again for you know year two, the second payment in year two, it will update to um, 
you know, 495 and I could keep going up if you guys wanted to keep testing this, you know, up from 14 to 24 and then on the 25th it will switch. So as you can see, this is just an easy way to set up a prepaid term with WooCommerce subscriptions. And I'm not going to bore you and go through this whole process again. But if you got a lot of value out of this video, leave a comment below. And you can find the Automate Woo plugin in the description box below. I think it is one of the best automating plugins with WooCommerce. I know WooCommerce, like the company itself, purchase the plugin or like bought the plugin developer out. So it's a must use. And I've also used it to customize emails and WooCommerce as it has a bunch of other functions. So if you got value out of this video, click that like, click, the, click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time and have a great rest of your day. Awesome. Peace.